The final thing you need to do to prep your model for export into Unreal Engine 4 is get your UVW mapping correct. So you can see I have UVW mapping on these objects for this wood material and all the other materials I have here. Everything looks fine, but there's something else we need to do. If you go in here and apply a unwrap UVW modifier, let's open the UVW editor and see what we have here. You can see, although my diffuse map looks fine, my UVW maps are kind of crazy and they're not clean. So in Unreal Engine, you actually need to make completely clean UVs on map channel 2. And that's for the light mapping. So it will use map channel 1 for these diffuse maps and other maps you have applied, which is great. But for the light map, which is very important in real-time rendering, you need to use map channel 2. So what we'll do is keep this unwrap UVW modifier here and we'll go to map channel 2 by hitting this ticker here and it will say the, this modifier contains edits to only one UVW channel at a time. You've chosen a new channel. Would you like to move or abandon? And really it doesn't matter much what you do here. Let's do abandon because we're going to make our own new ones now anyway. So what you need to do is make sure, and actually it's pretty clean already right there, but you need to select everything. And what you can do is just go into mapping, flatten mapping, hit OK with the defaults, and that will make sure that everything is cleanly laid out and nothing is overlapping. That's the important part. No overlapping UVs on map channel 2. So we can close that down and we can convert it to edit poly to kind of burn that in. Now if we look at our UVs again, unwrap UVW, if we go on map channel 1, you'll see this is still here for our diffuse channel, which is great. But on map channel 2, we have our cleanly unwrapped UVWs that have no overlapping faces, which is exactly what Unreal Engine wants. So map channel 1 is the diffuse map and other maps we have applied in our standard material. Map channel 2 is for our light maps, where we just need to do a simple flatten map. Now if you search the internet for a script to do that for you, that might be your best option because it, you can select everything in your scene, run the script, and it will automatically apply that flatten mapping to map channel 2 on all your objects. So that can save you a lot of time, but be careful, it can also shut down your scene, freeze up your scene, and uh, crash your computer. But you can also do it manually, as I just showed. You just need to make sure that everything you export has two map channels, and the second one needs to be completely non-overlapping.